Class President. Okay, class, that's all for today. Before you all go, there's something this school has been lacking. Eldorado stew, right? I love Eldorado stew too, but no. There's something we all need to do. The time has come. We must choose Wondermont's first class president. What's a class president? They help out around school. They go to the magic shops with us. That doesn't sound like a heroic job. Who wants to go shopping? Going shopping, huh? To help carry our purchases back home, yes. And the class president will represent the class at the ceremonial gala of wizardry schools. Who wants, Who wants that? that? A gala sounds really nice. Oh, and I almost forgot. Our first class president will have their portrait hung in the school corridor. Beautifully framed, of course. Uh. Hmm. It's obvious, isn't it? That I should be class president. Oh yeah, why? First off, because I'll look so good in the super beautiful new dress I made. And second, because I picked out the most perfect gems for my tiara, so my portrait would be best, since it will look nice in the corridor. I don't think we should choose based on the portrait. That shouldn't decide who's president. But just imagine it. The ceremonial gala's red carpet. My new outfit would look amazing. As soon as they see it, it'll take their breath away. And then one by one, they'll all be overwhelmed with delight. That tiara's gonna fall off with your nose so high in the air. I am going to win. And shopping with the teachers will be my job. The immortal and the professor. What time do they usually do their shopping? During our classes, right? Uh-huh. Perfect. That means I can cook class and have a good excuse for it. <laughs> okay, girls. Who are you voting for? The fashionable one? Or the lazy one? Vosco, Levon, who are you voting for? The one who's better at soccer, right? I'll vote for whoever can cook me Eldorado stew for dinner. Yeah, the flavor is famous even in the Kingdom of Seven Peaks. Though chopping an exploding pepper needs real master chef skills. <laughs> I don't suppose anyone here would dare to cook it. Hmm, are you sure this is worth it, Rooney? I want to be class president, so it's worth it. Keep right on wanting, because oh. I'm going to win. <laughs> the magical Eldorado exploding <sighs> pepper. This is what gives Eldorado stew its one of a kind flavor. It's all for me. No, it isn't. It's mine. No. Watch out! <gasps> the exploding pepper requires careful and precise handling. <laughs> ah! uh, ooh, it's got an explosive flavor too. Girls, did you do this? We need to clean it up as soon as possible. Not we, her. She did it. Make her clean it all up. Oh, yeah? You sorted it. Blech. Oh. Don't worry, I'll help you. I don't understand how to solve this alchemy problem. I'll give you a hand as your future class president. Not that I understand this either. If you don't understand it, I'll help her out. And then Domo will vote for me, right? That's not true. Oh. Give me that inkwell. Ah! Wow, thank you, Helen. My dress! Rooney, look what you have done! Me? Look at this mess. I have to redo everything because of you. Maybe I won't have homework as president. I'll bring those in for you, Professor. No, I should get that for you. It's okay, girls. There's plenty of boxes. Just take care with them. That's all I ask. That bottle, for example, holds mockingbird mist. If you breathe that stuff in, it makes your voice change. Ah! <gasps> well, the mockingbird mist is gone. I just asked you to be careful. It's Lisa's fault. How was I supposed to be careful when she was getting under my feet like that? I'm as careful as they come. It's your fault for bumping into me. Now. <gasps> uh. Thank you, dear Helen. When I'm class president, we'll be allowed to stay up all night if we want. Just wait and see. And when I'm class president, we'll have more holidays than anyone in the world. Oh. 
Why argue about it? If you want to know who will be class president, you just have to look into the magic well that tells the future. Hmm. Aha! You're here too! <gasps> To a frog, then I can pull you out. <sighs> ah, thank you so much. You've been so helpful today. I'm here to announce the results of the election. By unanimous decision, we have chosen a class president. It's you, Helen. While Rudy and Lisa were bickering, you were actually helping out. Even Lisa and I voted for you, and we made up too. Okay, I'll try to be a great president. In honor of this happy event, may I offer a celebratory dinner? Ah, I realize I completely forgot to tell you. My own Eldorado stew will be served tonight. Yay! A big adventure. I proudly present the newest additions to our museum. Unique finds from our hierological expedition. Bracelet of Thumbelina. Wow, she must have been tiny. The armor of Firewing the 39th. Now he was a big hero. Look at the size of that. Hm. Size isn't everything. Maybe his brain was as small as Thumbelina's bracelet. Now that's more like it. The shield of Brunhilde the Clever. Legend has it that Brunhilde was both smart and tough. It's a little odd. Nothing here actually specifies her height. <sighs> I couldn't lift that shield if I wanted to, much less do anything heroic with it. I know, right? I can't lift my youngest brother's shield. How will we be heroes without shields? We have some growing to do. I might have an idea. Let's meet here when class is over, and I promise you will be able to lift any shield. Hmm, they don't know a thing about magic. Fawning over that metal junk and not even a glance at the bracelet. That thing can shrink anything down, as small as you want. Is that a speck of dust there? No, it's the immortal. I want that. So small, but so special. And they're kidding if they're unguarded. And that concludes today's little museum artifact tour. It's lunchtime. <gasps> oh. <laughs> hmm, clever of him. Hmm. What we need now is... We need someone who is small. Someone like... Ah, oh, a raven! <laughs> and a frog, too. And a spider. There. You're going to be my very own soldiers. My evil heroes. <laughs> I'm your commander-in-chief now. You'll obey my orders. I could barely sit still in class. Okay, we're ready. Show us what you've got. Look, gingerbread men taught me how to make enlarging and shrinking magic cookies. You can grow as big as you want with these and pick up whatever shields you like. A bite of this one and you grow. Eat this one and you shrink. That is, if I didn't mess up the recipe. Well, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And it's in the name of science. <gasps> oh, put that bracelet back immediately! Quick, the shrinking cookie! <laughs> hey, stop! <sighs> That's my old hairpin! And the professor's favorite spoon! Uh, this is a sticky situation! Well, it's not Brunhilde's shield, but it suits me fine! <sighs> okay, thief, this is your final warning! You know you can't hide from me in the library! I know every page in here. Oh, gotcha! Hoist the sails! Full speed ahead, set a course for the end of the chapter! I'm shipwrecked. There it is! Hey, stop! Got you at last! Give us the bracelet! Oh. Ah, ah. They've got a whole forest gang! But why the bracelet? Because animals don't wear jewelry. Baba Yaga! That glow, didn't you see it? 
She's bewitched them to get to that bracelet. Quick, put me up on the window and call Chirpy. Chirpy! Hello, Chirpy. We'll go with you. This is no job for giants. Stay here and warn the others. Baba Yaga is up to something. All around is wonderful stories. Some are strange, but none of them boring, yeah. We're always hungry to know more. Learning all the spells we believe in. Secrets of the universe, even, yeah. We're gonna open up the door. When times are tough, we gaze up at the sky. Another enchanted helper. Thumbelina's bracelet is now Baba Yaga's ring. <laughs> what should I shrink now? Oh, I know. Everything. <laughs> Great work. I'm promoting you all to general. Meet tonight at Wonderbond School. Then we'll decide what to do with our miniature immortal. <laughs> Still. No. First reverse. <laughs> oh, come on, you little. Big things come in small packages. Oh, I won't say goodbye. I left a pot on the stove. You all just got lucky. Daria, for someone so small, you've shown enormous courage. So, perhaps Wondermont has found its own Bruhilda or its own Thumbelina. Because, you see, heroes don't have to be big. That's why Thumbelina's tiny bracelet is every bit as valuable as that giant shield. Oh, that little menace. I had all these good ideas and she ruined them. <laughs> oh, well, at least I have my soldiers. Ah. Oh. Oh. Mm. Unpredictable berries. These carrots are gigantic. 33 times bigger than normal. With carrots like these, we'll definitely win first prize at the Magic Fair. Best farm product of the year. I'm going to pull up the biggest one. Watch this. <gasps> uh -huh. uh. Hmm, they're so tiny. These wouldn't feed a gnome. They look more like the worst farm product of the year. And there's no prize for that. How did this happen? We did everything the same way as the giant gardeners, and the fair is tomorrow, so we don't have enough time to grow new carrots. Well, first, don't worry. As my dad says, even the sourest berries can make the tastiest jam. But we grow carrots. We don't have berries. No, Dorma, that was just an old saying. It means you can make the best out of a bad situation. Just stay positive. Let's see what's here. We only have a day, so we need something that only takes a day to grow. Bingo! Daria, no! Only the botany professors can grow unpredictable berries. They're totally unpredictable. And they grow wherever they want. If you don't water them fast enough, they run off. They shovel in the wind and in the sun. But they make berries so delicious that we could easily win the competition with them. As soon as you see it grow, give it all the water you've got. Or it'll run off, and you're never going to be able to catch it. Heroic leap out of... To the yard! Prepare to water! Huh? How does it do that so quickly? Oh, oh well, we can forget about winning. Not at all. The seedling is just looking for a good spot so it can grow bigger and make tastier berries. Let's split up and look for it. If it takes root near some flowers, the berries will be sweeter. By the river, they'll be juicier. The best location? Nowhere near Baba Yaga. Mm. Pickled tree stumps, stewed nettle salad, the best woodland recipes from my copy of Yucky Muck. With these in hand, I'll be the talk of the fair. Oh, an unpredictable berry. If I can just... <gasps> if Baba Yaga waters it, the unpredictable berry will stay with her. Hmm? Uh. Well done, Helen. Uh. 
big warp. I never wanted it in the first place. Honestly, I'm not much of a gardener. On the mountains of the Kingdom of Seven Peaks, the only thing that grows is moss. But moss is very predictable. Not like this. <gasps> Unpredictaberry! You're right, Levon. You need to work on your plant knowledge. That's just a strawberry. Aha! You can't escape me now! <laughs> and those are thistles. Well, they put up a brave fight. Shh! There it is. Look! Wait here. I'll show you how a real gardening pro catches in... <gasps> My water! Are you okay? We almost caught it. And then I ruined everything. We'll figure something out. What is there to figure out? The water's all gone. That's all of it. Not quite all of it. A single drop of dew? That's all the moss in Seven Peaks needs to grow. So maybe unpredictaberries are the same. Look at that! It's so much taller than I expected! It is. It's taller than the trees. Berry sprout! Oh, it's over. The sprout is gone for good. <gasps> oh, yay! We'll definitely win first prize with this. Look, it's so hot in the sun that it's losing its leaves. It needs shade. But what can we do? There's not a cloud in the sky. What about fox? Bosco, that's a great idea. Oh, look, it's already growing fruit. <gasps> Grab them! If the berries hit a stone, they'll burst right open. Stop it! I'll try to steer it! The amazing ball act! Watch out for that rock! Look out! Missile! Yay! Yay! I declare us professors of botany! <sighs> Shoot! That was the last berry! There goes our chance of winning! And the sun's going down too! It's nearly dark! Which means we can't grow anything before tomorrow! Mm. Even the sourest berries can make... I know what to do! We're gonna win this competition! Ah, the life of a wizard is as unpredictable as these berries. You never know. Anything could be waiting round the corner. <laughs> but no matter what curveballs life throws your way, there is always a solution or two to be found. You learn to make jam from sour berries or burst berries. <laughs> Pickle tree stumps here, nice and crunchy. Let us sell it for you. Each bite is a joy. Ahem. The jury has decided that the prize for the most delicious farm product will be awarded to the Unpredictaberry uh, Jam from Wonderbomb School. It's feather licking good. Mind if I try a little? Hold on! I object to that. You don't appreciate woodland cuisine. It really is delicious, though. Try it. Hmm. Well, then, here, pickle tree stump is my specialty. Enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Slipshod. Some plumberry seeds from Sunsea. Plumberries are the very best ever. I also love plumberry jam. Why don't we plant these? <laughs> Yay! How long will it take? Can they be done by lunch? Or dinner? Rooney, dear. <laughs> I should sleep here so that I don't miss it. It takes several days for plumberry trees to grow and longer for berries to appear. Can't we do something to uh, make them grow faster? Hmm. There is a growing elixir we could add, but it takes a while to brew. And I still need to check your herbariums. Oh, I can make the elixir. Pretty please, with the cherry on top? Of course, but follow the recipe exactly, with no shortcuts. Making the elixir slipshod won't get you anywhere. Three tricolor petals. One, two, three. Rooney! <laughs> Focus. Ten blades of fast-growing grass. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hmm. Rooney! Huh? We're going to play skip ball. Want to join? I'm coming! Just give me a... Oh, still got to add. One hundred drops of rainbow. Counting those will take forever. I'll just guess. Allow it to steep. 
Okay, I move. <laughs> Good afternoon. Hot soup right out of the oven. Thanks. Thank you. And what a great <laughs> game. But we were only able to skip three balls. And we skipped 15, so we win. I love playing skip ball. It's so fun. And I love this soup, too. Ugh. It's amazing. <laughs> hey, you! Get away from our soup! Stop! Hey, don't do that! Stop it! Come here! I'm gonna get you. There, gotcha! Hey, you! Stop right there! Oh! Oh! oh. You didn't see them, but they were so round! And they made a noise like slipshod! Right? Girls? Oh, we believe you, Rooney. Would a necklace make you feel any better? I made it by hand. The green one? Yeah. How beautiful. It's pretty. May I have one, too? <gasps> Them again. There they are. Rooney, wait! <laughs> hey, stop! Get back here! Ooh. I'll show you! Uh, wait! Hey! <laughs> uh, Rooney! Quiet. Look in there. Do you see them? I don't. But I believe something's there. I told you. And they keep saying slipshod. We can't see them. Only you can. But we will find out what they are. Where are you going? Sometimes you can look up magic creatures by the sounds they make. So if these guys say slip and shod... <gasps> I found them! Slip shards appear when someone makes messy or slip shod magic. So somebody made a messy spell and now we all have to suffer? Slip shards can only be seen by the one who made them. And only I can see them. So only you can fix this. <gasps> magic cleaning! Vaggy! <laughs> you do things slipshod, things may turn out messy or salty like that soup. Or your necklace might break. Here, this time I actually followed the recipe. And here's the result. <laughs> the Courageous Feet. It's been more than an hour. She's going to set a new record. <laughs> An hour? I could do this all day. Well, you're good at sticking your nose up. How about this? That's amazing. Wow. <laughs> and I can go even wowser than that, too. Check this out. I've seen it a hundred times. Whoa, what is that? <laughs> I thought I asked you to speed up, not run like your shoelaces are tied together. This thing still needs hatching. 
What is she carrying? Never mind that. Look what she's running from. <gasps> dragon! dragon! Hurry, hide! Behind my dragon-proof shield! Look, he's got three heads! I'll take the left head, and the other two. You all handle the tail. What if he breathes fire? Don't worry, I'm a fire extinguisher. Let's get going. It's hero time! For Wondermont! Ready, coming, Dragon! Surrender! Surrender! Where is the dragon? And do not forget to memorize the behavioral features of the Leshy in the spring. And in the summer. So, here come our star students, who shine so brightly they can't be seen in class. Please let us explain. We were attacked by a dragon. We tried to hide. I mean, fight. And defeat him. Defeat a dragon? <laughs> we demolished him, too. I hurled my boomerang. And I grabbed his tail. And I put out fire. He won't be coming here ever again. You drove away a dragon? You kids amaze me each and every day. We need to arrange a press conference for you with our best dragon experts. Now, go back to class and write everything that happened to you with as many details as you can remember. Hooray! Awesome dragon experts are coming! Like Firewing, the 39th! Or Martha the Dragon Weaver? They will teach us some cool dragon expert tricks. The Fluttering Master. Or, uh, <coughs> or the Heroic Capture. Oh, the Sneaky Invisible Princess. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what if we didn't actually scare him and he left on his own? <gasps> Go far. We have to tell Mr. Immortal the truth about what really happened. But then we won't get to meet the dragon experts. You know, I think he wants the ball. He was chasing it before. Stay where you are, and I will conduct a dragonology experiment. Rooney, come back. You'll be eaten. This is a terrible experiment. No way to know until we try. A dragon in our classroom? I doubt she was craving knowledge. This has never happened before. It's good that our young dragon experts were here and handled her for us. I must bring them to the Gathering of Heroes. Mm, that's great. Be proud, young heroes. What should we do about the dragon? She's never behaved like this before. Wait, she? Clearly something must have happened. Oh well, perhaps we shrink her to fit into a cage. Desperate times call for desperate measures. Why in a cage? But the dragon didn't do anything wrong! Stop! The dragon's good! Look, over there! Let's go, everyone. I wonder what the dragon's after. It must be something round, like our soccer ball is. Maybe a basketball? Oh, not a ball at all. Watch out! <gasps> of course, a dragon egg. That's what it's looking for. And that's why Mr. Immortal said she. It's a girl dragon. Hey, wait. Remember Baba Yaga? She was carrying something round, and it wasn't a ball. <gasps> and she told the hut to hatch it. It must be the, the dragon's egg. egg. Well, when will it hatch? My very own loyal watch dragon. One head to the north, one to the south, and the third head will be looking to the east. And the fourth is west, I think. Wait, there are only three heads. Am I the fourth head? <gasps> what are you doing here? Oh, and now I only have one head. Make this dragon shrink in size, both height and width, and on all sides. Don't! Kids? Why are you here? Please don't punish the dragon. She didn't attack us. We made it all up. She was looking for this. We're not really dragon experts. We couldn't even tell a girl from a boy. Hmm, well, I'm glad you learned. Your lesson. A hard one. 
But I'm proud of you for telling the truth. Admitting your mistakes takes courage, not unlike fighting a dragon. You were brave, but the one you should apologize to isn't me, is it? There, our dragon experts have learned a lesson about dragons. That dragons are actually very friendly once you get to know them. The Wondermont Boomerang. Move the Rooney double flying rainbow move. One, two. Hey, hey, hey! One, two, three, four. Ha! Ha! <gasps> did you see that? He did four full twists. Exactly. It helps you throw the boomerang harder. The El Dorado leap with a surprise. It's the best way to attack dragons, you know. Dragons? Of course. But you won't get kindness from dragons. Once a dragon attacked my home in El Dorado, we shot arrows at it and threw spears, and the thing still got back up. Then the great El Guerrero, our most superheroic superhero, put a spell on his shield. He flew up into the sky on it, and then just like hurled a boomerang. We know about El Guerrero and the Seven Kingdoms. We study his biography in high school. Someday, I'll perform the same kind of feat. If a dragon shows up, I mean. I think you could have just used an ordinary spell for flying lizards. But it's impressive, that's for sure. No one here can do that. Oh, oh yes, they can. I can do a better, even higher jump. Where do you see the trick I can do? Uh, wanna bet? Or is our El Guerrero too scared? Me scared, you say? Eldoradans don't know how to be scared. Keep it up, you're doing great! <laughs> Do one more round! <laughs> hmm, look at that leap, like a grasshopper. But I will be the best. Will you help me? Go find out everything. Why he jumps so well, how he lands, what secrets he has. Everything. Got it? Hey! Huh? <laughs> Bosco, step on it! That's already 2.5 dragon speed! Oh. Hmm. <gasps> Flight enhancer, of course! With this, it's easy to fly like a superhero! Where did the bottle go? It was right here. Well, Mr. Champion, you ready? <laughs> I can't wait to show everyone who the best jumper is. Fine, but I am not going to hold back. <laughs> I'm sorry, but me neither. Just remember, winning isn't everything. Of course it is. Victory is everything, especially mine. We're all ready. Then let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go against traffic. You must follow the traffic rules. <sighs> well, Professor, isn't it just wonderful to ride through the placid sky with a nice cup of hot tea? Yes. We don't often have days like this at Wondermont, when everything is so quiet and peaceful. Ah! Ah! Rooney, give me your hand! And our pupils today are so calm. Smile, smile. And well-behaved. They're growing up, you know. Oh, there's my bottle. Hey, you didn't use it on your disc, did you? So it's fine for you, but not the rest of us. I have every right to enhance my flight, too. <laughs> it really worked out for you, huh? This stuff is for the boomerang, so it flies further and comes back quicker. You see? 
Your disc is coming back now. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Have some decency. I guess you saved me. Now I owe you. <laughs> In that case, why don't you teach me how to do those spins you do? Like the ballerina and the cat's twist. Me? Teach you? Okay, and you can teach me your El Dorado leap with a surprise. No problem. That was amazing, that was Rooney. So cool. Well done, Vasco. What a feat. I couldn't have done it better myself. Your attention, please. Rooney and Vasco present our awesome joint flying disc show. Bravo! It's a real show. So, what do you call your incredible maneuver? Uh, the Wondermond... Boomerang! That's a great title. I'm sure this maneuver is worth including in the Magical Aerial Acrobatics textbooks. <laughs> <laughs> Magical music. Ah, I've been waiting a hundred years for this. Tomorrow morning, the sun will pass from Capricorn into the Piper. And then it'll be my time to shine. The important thing is not to oversleep, but they don't suspect a thing. <laughs> Who cares about these music lessons? What's the point of studying this? It's not magic. You're only grumbling because you didn't learn your part. What is there even to learn? Bam, bam! Would you please be quiet? What are you worried about? Surely you know it all by heart. If I don't get enough sleep, I won't play well. Did I oversleep? Stupid alarm crow. Why didn't you wake me? Ah, ah, ah. Good. I'm still on time. Mr. Immortal doesn't even suspect that his treasured Trembita is missing. The heist of the century. <laughs> A little surprise for you. Hmm. The fifth Wintober of the Dragon Cycle. The sun is in the house of the Piper. Hmm. Has it been a hundred years already? Where is it? I distinctly remember putting it in here. Right next to the Magical Music Encyclopedia. <laughs> now, let's begin. <laughs> Wait a minute. Isn't that... wondering why we've all gathered here today. From now on, you lucky little things are going to be attending the Yaga School for Mischief. My school. Go get the others. Don't be afraid. They can't hurt you. What are you worried about? The Alpine Horn works like a charm. It enchanted every one of them. And here are our new textbooks. Trixometry, Spitefulry, Evonomics, Intrigology. And this, Mischief Matics. We'll start out easy. Let's find something interesting. How to ruin things. <laughs> Mr. Immortal? <gasps> Mr. Immortal! <gasps> Encyclopedia. 
Wikipedia. <gasps> That's exactly what I need. Encasing, enchaining. Oh, there it is, enchanting music. So that's how Papa Yaka bewitched them. Huh? Where is it? Where is the counter spell? <gasps> music that cures hiccups and tickling songs. That's not what I need. Knowing how to taunt and tease well is a true science. Here, watch me. Now it's your turn. Well, that was disappointing. You all get a D. By the way, where are the others? Once every hundred years, the horn's What's powers this? reach their summit, but whoever plays it can overcome it. Aha! Uh -huh. What's going on? Why aren't you bewitched and frozen? I'll take care of that. <laughs> do you think you're doing? I... <laughs> and that is the power of magical instruments. I assume that the music lesson has been a great success. Nice! What an enchanting melody. I just can't stop dancing. All right, then. Everyone gets an A. Oh, my alpine horn. Thank you for finding it. As soon as the sun sets, I'll play you a beautiful solo. I can't wait to demonstrate it. What? Music is truly powerful magic. But the drums were a bit late. We'll, we'll practice, practice some more and have the best concert. <laughs> Training day. Oh, there's nothing quite like a nice cup of tea after a long day at the chalkboard, wouldn't you say? Oh, dear. Much obliged, Mr. Immortal. A message has arrived for you. It looks important, too. Oh. Hmm. The president of the Wondermont administration has summoned us to a teacher training seminar. And it's tomorrow. Really? Teacher training? But I've been an exemplary educator for years. And you've been teaching since, uh... Forever. Exactly. So why do we need to go to a teacher training seminar? Why, it's all perfectly normal. There's no need to worry. No matter how long you've been doing a job, there's always more to learn. Marlene, go and tell the girls that we'll be leaving. We shall be on our way in the morning, bright and early tomorrow. No lessons tomorrow? Oh, no. Yes! Does that mean it's okay for me to stay in bed all day? No, Dorma. It means we should spend the day outside where we can practice our magic. No, Rooney. You know the rules of the school. There's to be no magic while the teachers are away. Aww. Good night, girls. Good Sleep well. Good night, night. Marlene. Marlene. Thanks. Okay? I had a terrible dream. It's all right. It was just in your mind. You're safe now. You see? <laughs> oh, please help me. I'm falling into a big hole in the ground. <laughs> Rooney, stop it. That wasn't funny. It felt so real. I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> I'm sorry, Dorma, but just look around. It's a perfect day. Nothing bad is gonna happen. <laughs> oh, what's that? Girls, look! Check out the smoke over here. <gasps> it looks like my dream is coming true. We need to go and make sure everything's all right. <laughs> Have a nice trip. 
my naive little friends, while I finish my bottomless pit. <laughs> What's that, sir, on your hands? Just there. It looks like an ink smudge. It must have come off the scroll. How strange. Exactly. Wondermont ink shouldn't do that. May I see it? Could this ribbon be a strip of fabric torn from a piece of clothing? Hmm, Baba, Baba Yaga. Yaga. Goats, please take us all back home and fast. Girls, we've got to do something. I can stop her. No, no magic, remember? <gasps> How do we stop Baba Yaga without magic? I've got it! Baba Yaga! <gasps> That's enough! No, no. It's me, the Immortal! <laughs> stop what you're doing and run, or I'll make you disappear! <laughs> oh, your immortalness. I didn't expect you back so soon. <laughs> I know it's just you girls. And I know the school rules. No magic while the teachers are away. <laughs> Looks like I win this time. Baba Yaga! That spell you're casting! <sighs> Are you sure you're doing it the right way? But of course! <laughs> I know what I'm doing! I fear you made a small mistake! Just uh, look! What? It says right here... Stop talking! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! So sorry! You little pest! Let me help you! Oh. Yes! Nice oh. catch! What is going on? Not good. We must find Baba Yaga. This way. Oh! Now I've had enough. We need our magic. The school is about to collapse. <gasps> Daria, we can't use magic. We break the rules or lose our school. up the spell! Whoa! Oh, no! My book! Oh. Oh. oh, hot. Let me cool it down for you. Looks like you froze me out. And I'll be back. Wow, so cool. Well done, girls. You saved the school. <gasps> my voice! It's finally back! I'm sorry. We broke the rules of the school. Yes, which is more important than the school rules sometimes. So you won't punish us? <gasps> no. You are all brave wizards and deserve a real day off to enjoy yourselves. <laughs> yes! Hooray! 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 Flower power. Oh. Nobody ever remembers me. Nobody says a word. Oh. <laughs> Under my uh, direction, you might say. Actually, the girls did it all by themselves. Aren't they lovely? Ah, indeed. These are wonderful tulips. What place do you think we will win? Isn't it obvious, sir? We'll win first place. No doubt about it. Ah? Uh -huh. Hmm. We've never been able to win first place before. True, because we've never been in the contest. That's the reason why. Nevertheless, first place or not, these flowers look absolutely fantastic. My gratitude to our fine instructor. Oh, thank you, Mr. Immortal. But the girls did all the work. I've got mail. It's a card, but I wonder who it could be from. Let's find out. Hmm. To our dear Miss Baba Yaga. Look at this spelling. D-E-E-R. It's supposed to be D-E-A-R. What is this? We would all like to wish you, our beloved old woman, the happiest of birthdays. Huh? You wrote this, didn't you? Huh. So that's how it is. I am only 280 years old, and you're calling me an old woman? Hmm. You can have your card back. Just imagine. What if we really do win first prize? I think Marlene was just being nice to us. I mean, it's a flower contest for all the magic schools in the world. Hmm. 
Does it really matter that much to all of you whether or not we win? Yes, it does. Flowers shouldn't be for contest. What are they for, then? Flowers are what knights give to the fair ladies. Hmm. What knights are those? You've been reading too many stories. So what if I have? What's wrong with that? It's romantic. I wish there were boys at our school. No, thank you. Ugh, my brothers never gave flowers. I know. Knights only live in fairy tales. <sighs> it's a shame. <laughs> It's a knight. How can that be? Rooney, did you just summon up a knight? Did you do that just to tease us? I didn't summon anything. Uh-huh. As if I would believe that. Whatever. Stop arguing, girls. He's walking toward our flowers. Then, does he want to give them to Lisa? I don't understand. Why would he give me flowers? Let's find out. Hurry! It's too late. Our poor flowers. He took them and left. Then does that mean that they weren't for me after all? Shh! Do you hear that clanking? That's him! Uh, why is the witch's hut here? Oh, no! The hut is the one who picked our flowers, and the knight is saving them! <gasps> Archie! Yes! It was him all along. He was listening to us and went off to find a real knight. Hmm. He was trying to do something nice for us. Was he? Did it ever occur to him that we have a contest? Award you the order of, um, what do you call it? Flower power. Mm -hmm. Hooray! 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 Girls, who has a barrette? What for? To use for a medal. Actually, order is an honorary society, so the barrette isn't necessary. It is. Our order definitely needs one. <laughs> Thank you, Archie. Well done, Archie. Look! Baba Yaga's hut dropped this. I saw it. A card for Baba Yaga. It's her birthday. So then, the hut wanted to give her a present. I sort of lost my temper. So, um, thank you for the birthday card. <clears throat> uh? We wanted to wish you a happy, happy birthday. birthday. What? Don't be afraid. He's from the Order of Flower Power. He's here to say happy birthday, too. Happy birthday! Oh, well, what a lovely surprise, girls. Thank you. All this kindness and I have nothing to share. I didn't prepare anything. But not to worry, I'll whip up some leech soup right away. Uh, um... You do like leech soup, don't you? So the angle formed by ABC equals the angle formed by CAB. And that is how you prove this particular theorem. Did you get all that? Sure, we got it. Ah, wonderful. Uh, by the way, what did you girls think of Baba Yaga's leech soup? <laughs> what else did she have to offer you girls? She had some treats for us, eclairs and donuts. And little tots, too. I think I like the Napoleons most of all. <laughs> they were delicious. <laughs> Squirreled away. 28, 29, 30. Time's up. Ready or not, here I come, girls. All right, then. You. So what if you did? Uh. You never would have found me. It's only because I sneezed. 
<gasps> Tag! Got you, Lisa. <laughs> Have you tried over there yet, Rooney? Tag! Got you, Doria. <laughs> Oh, it's a squirrel! It's so cute! Oh, did you think I'd take your pine cone? <laughs> I don't eat them. I'd rather have candy, like this. It's all right. There's nothing to be scared of. Hide-and-seek. Cut it out, Rooney. I'm safe. I win, girls. Dorma, you really are something. We were so worried. We almost called the immortal. Where did you go? <laughs> I cannot share my secret, all right? But you really vanished. Very well, then. I'll show you. Come on. Here we are. This is where you hid? It's pretty open. What is this? <gasps> Dorma! Dorma? <laughs> Not quite, dearie. Daria, activate! I've got it. All right, stop. Oh, oh! What's wrong with me? I've turned to stone and I'm frozen now. Nice one, Daria. Nice, Daria. Not quite. <gasps> Fold you. <laughs> Your spells won't work this time. I've got you now. <laughs> There's no escaping from Baba Yaga. <gasps> if only I had a protective amulet. <laughs> so what? A house on chicken legs. Now what do I do? Wasn't there a spell about untying knots? How did that go? Was it untie? Unwind? Uh, yes, that's it! Twirls and binds, now unwind! Uh -huh. <laughs> Please, Hut! <laughs> Let me go! It's not that important for you, is it? <laughs> to live with me. I've decided to make a school. There are so many things I can... Hey, are you listening? <laughs> Cut that out. If you behave like good little princesses, I'll let you out of the balloon. On holidays. <laughs> Wait. Oh, no. Smells like a human. Now, let's see. Look who it is. <laughs> You escaped. What a useless hut. I can't trust it to do anything. Be gone, old crone. Leave me alone. What? <laughs> That's not a spell. No spell <sighs> ends with leave me alone. How ridiculous. All those childish rhymes are useless. Oh. Hey, you. Stop. <laughs> I'll get you. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? Come back, you thief. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. You helped us out of a tricky situation. Uh, twirls and binds, now unwind. Girls! Oh, good work! Oh, that was my 
Wait, oh, but it wasn't me. This little one is who you should thank. <gasps> a swell! Oh, 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 that's yeah. cute! <laughs> hey! Where are you going? What about me? Please, get me down from here. I won't do it again. Mm.